Vinny, let me ask you something. Like when when you changed weight classes and you moved up, did you notice that you hit harder? Like when you fought at a heavier weight, or did you move different? Did your hand, was your hand speed affected by that? Was your your footwork different? I, or- you know, you know, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky, and and even till today, I still can't fucking believe how fast I am today. Good. Like I work out a little bit every day. You know, a little bit. I do a little shadow yeah, boxing. Just- some just shit move ups, the I, joints. I, I shit ups, push ups. <laughs> yeah, I hit the gym. I do fifty reps of weights every day. That's good. You know, man. back, chest, shoulders, muscle, biceps, and front. I do that every day, and I'm still fast, and I can't even believe it. Like, All right, so when I you moved up. My- I know. I always said that I was the fastest white boy in boxing. <laughs> <laughs> I always said that. Yeah, you know, I, I seen a video of you not too long ago of you just you know hitting a punching bag, man. I'm like, man, I'd hate to still run to this guy at you know whatever age. You- v- Vinny, how old are you right now? Fifty one. I don't even know. I'm somewhere near 55. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, most. But still, man. All right, all right so w- when you went up, when you bumped up two weight classes, were you still cutting weight to get there, or were you just, this is what I walk still around cutting it? Weight. You were still cutting no, still, weight. No, oh, my God. No. When I was lightweight, I, I started, I'll never forget this one time. I was fighting at a lightweight, and I was, I was, um, I was, I was, I was a world champion, and and I'll never forget. I stepped on the scale one day, and, it, and, it, and I was picking out. It was you know after the fight, and and I was just having a ball, and I just stepped on the scale for the hell of it, um, with my clothes on and everything. And I weighed, I weighed one seventy five. I'll never forget it. I would actually one seventy seven, and I went, oh my god! I literally broke out in a sweat. And I went, oh, my God, I'm never going to make lightweight ever again. And I never really did. But I got my ass kicked the second fight when I beat Haugen. And then the third fight, we we, we got uh, we had an agreement. We fought at 142. And I had to, I had to like, I had to, I had to, like, like, I had to, like, berate the kid. I had to, like, like, make him feel like a fool because yeah, oh, a couple of pounds, Haugen, you're so badass, you big, big, tough man fighter, but you won't let Vinny Paz go in at 142. Oh, you're so bad. You're such a bad fighter. Oh, you're a badass. And he's all, oh, all right, Vinny, fuck you. Yeah, oh, go ahead. You can come in at 142. You gave so me when I, him in, I weighed in the scale at 143 because it was in it was in um, Atlantic City to give or take a pound. So I came in at 143, and I. I weighed in 143. I came into the fight around 154, and I felt fucking great, fabulous. It was the best, one of the best fights I've ever ever felt and, and performed. And I beat his little little white ass all around the <laughs> ring. He didn't even touch me. 